Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Evan. Are you ready for our last stream ever? At In this, this house, house I am. And you know, <laughs> I know that, that uh, all of you watching on YouTube don't really get the like chaos that is the start of every one of our streams, but this stream has been in particular a chaos one because we've already started packing up the house. Things were missing. We might have packed one of our routers <laughs> and that might have caused some technical difficulties. But you know, we're good now. We're good we're now. Good hey, now. we're here. We're ready to answer some questions. We're ready to hang, hang out. Hang out. We're ready uh, to show you kind of what's going on around here. Yeah. Because things might look a little different. I know. And today is the day that we posted that we are moving. Patreon has known like in advance for a little bit, mm -hmm. but um, we shared that we, oh no, that we bought a house, that we yeah. are moving. Yes. And you can see that like, you know, the work to move and pack up has already begun. And you know, it's always weird when you buy a house because it's like you put in an offer and then there's the like closing period and we didn't want to preemptively announce anything until we actually owned the house just because stuff mm -hmm. can go wrong and the market's crazy. And, oh, and I don't want to do any spoilers, but we were like down we won't do any spoilers. the wire. Like we almost didn't get this house. And if we had have said, hey, we bought a house and then we're like, actually, we didn't buy a house. It's just confusing. So we it's wanted to wait till yeah. we like have the keys, we own it, it's official, and now we have to move. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's like right where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. Also, like just 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 for fun, just because I'm a super nerd, I, I put time into this like before we moved. And like I want to justify my time and make it worth something. Um because oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> because I have a new a new take on the setup. Yes. Okay. Let me see. So I'll we'll get guys, into questions you, soon, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I want to give you guys a tour. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay. There you are. Wow. Look at wow, you guys. Look, look at you guys. Oh, hi, ooh, hi, ooh, guys. Hello. Well, oh, here. Let me turn down the the brightness just a little bit. <laughs> you're there so you you're so bright. So bright. So I have the new. ATEM Mini Extreme ISO right here. And this is the control wow. thing that controls everything. You know, if I, if I push these buttons, I can change the view right here using this. And I can also control wow. all these things, all with this little button. It's so much fun. I should probably do a video just on this and how this is the new brains of everything. Um, but it might change it by the time we get to the new house. Yeah, but also like, I wanna like, you know, this has been my prototype platform right here, um, but I wanna like build this into a briefcase sometime or like a like waterproof case sometime mm -hmm. in the future. This feels like that moment in space balls. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's so cool guys. Look, I can also like, like control the like all of the audio that's going in and I can monitor things differently and oh, like chill beats. oh my gosh so this is the chill beats this is us talking here these are the other cameras but I have them turned off all in this control software guys it is so cool oh my god <laughs> knowing Evan it will change before you get to the new house yeah yeah probably actually what, you know you think so no not really not really I joke <laughs> only because there's no time <laughs> if if this was just a normal what I also, you didn't even notice what I did to this. Look at that. Isn't this so cool? The top thing added? Yeah. So yeah. I added a battery to power the oh, wireless. Oh, and that little clamp. So now the, the wireless will last a lot longer. And I added the extra battery down here. So there's two batteries in here. So now we can go wireless all day, baby. See, yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, you change it all so constantly. You're like, Caitlin, can you go grab the thing? And I'm like, I have no idea what that is or where you keep it. <laughs> but you know, in the new house, we're gonna have more room for storage of our equipment and we're gonna label everything. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great. Awesome. Okay, that's tech hour for it with having the tech uh -huh. nerd out with having moment. I'll do some questions. So does the new house have an art gallery hallway? <laughs> so that was in reference. We actually designed our dream house um, in a stream and every version of our dream house had a very long hallway. We do have a pretty long hallway. We do have a long hallway. It's it's kind of broken up. We can up, hang art there. It's and wide. We can, it's wide. Yep. We got a long hallway. It's broken up a little bit. 
by jets off the hallway, but I think mm -hmm. he counts as one hallway. It's pretty mm -hmm. long, you guys. Long. I mean, I don't want to brag, <laughs> but it's pretty we long. We got one long hallway. It's pretty long. It's longer than any hallway we have in this house, that's for sure. <laughs> I think your head might be cut off now. Well, I'm, I'm only going to be oh, sitting. Oh, you're going to be sitting. Evan's done. <laughs> Is it gonna be in Texas? Yes, we're mm -hmm. staying in Texas. We have a lot of family in Texas. Um, it's a lot cheaper to live in Texas than many other places that we might consider. Um, and uh, we're babies about cold. So, yeah. you know, we can't be anywhere too chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Will the new house have a catio? We do plan on building a new catio. We're gonna bring her current catio um, just to see if like we can kind of set it up temporarily. It might not be ideal. We might have to like shorten or shorten the legs or like make them taller. I'm not sure. I think I think that I, I want to like start fresh. Yay. I want to start fresh. But I does that ideas. mean she might not? Because we like, when are we going to get to it? We have to set up the workshop before we can build the catio. Well, we'll do the workshop and catio. She yeah, but that could be a month. <laughs> she she can deal with it. She, she's I'm okay. going to need to like she's get a, a harness for her and just sit with her lady. outside so that she can get outside. That, I think that'd be more traumatic than just waiting. Yeah, we'll just we'll just open the windows and like, <laughs> did she just burp? I heard it. Did everyone hear it? <laughs> I was just going to glaze past it. I would have too, except you went like this. You went. <laughs> <laughs> derpy, derpy, thank you for the $5 donation. Googly eyes in the background make the place look more lively. Yeah, you yeah. know, we still got some googly eyes. Should we leave the big ones on the AC for whoever buys this house? Should we like bring in some art to like be in the background? <laughs> you so can that put it's nicer? Some, you can if you want. You can just grab that art from right there on the walls. These? Yeah, just put it back there. Okay. Because no one can see that wall and we're gonna have to, there you go. We're gonna have to take them off anyways. You know, it's weird y'all. Is there enough room for chaos? I think so. It is a bigger house. We ran out of space here. The funny thing is, um, we were looking at it and we we're like, the amount of space that's like non-business personal space isn't that much more. It's maybe like a tiny bit more, like the laundry room's a little bit bigger mm -hmm. and things like that. It's a, it's a little bit more for like per, the personal part of the house, but most of the increase is for business stuff. And we um, went back and forth on the size and we even thought like, okay, so getting a much bigger house for all of the business needs that we have is so much more expensive. What if we just rented like workshop space, you know, just like, like rent like something with a workshop and some like office space for streaming mm -hmm. and that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And the difference, uh, you know, the, the monthly rental cost of a workshop space big enough for our needs was just as expensive or more expensive than just the monthly payments of a bigger house. Well, and not not counting the principal, because the principal, like, oh, you principal. get back out. But like yeah. the, you know, rent on a workshop is like, that just goes away, you know, anything you're renting. And then there's like property taxes and interest and stuff for a house that just, you know, it just goes away. So comparing those two, it was about the same, just getting a bigger house rather yeah. than getting a smaller house and a workshop. And, and we, we like working yeah. from home. Yeah, and I we can know. expense some of the house as a cost <laughs> of doing business. We That's can. very true, yeah. Yes. Will there be a chance that Evan will fall through the new house's ceiling? Needed attic home improvements? No. I think we might not do any attic projects in yeah. this house, you guys. I think that I think we might just consider the attic well, good. It's a newer-ish house. It's, it's, a new, not, it's yeah. not a new house, but it's like a lot, a lot newer, newer than this, than this one. one. So yeah. like, you know, we we spent so much time. Well, I guess in the specific project where you fell through the ceiling, it was because we were adding storage to the attic because we were running out of space in here. Um, but with the bigger house, it might we might like have some time till we need to dip into attic space, you know? I'm sure there's there's definitely gonna be some things we put up there, but like the attic space will probably be enough without us adding like a whole room worth of attic space. Don't mind me, just doing a little bit of like <laughs> disassembly live. <laughs> You know what? Did I ever show? Did I ever show off my cool ceiling clamps? I don't know. Yeah. Can you push the alt? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna check yeah. a house thing on my phone yeah. real quick. I'll be back, you guys. All right. So there you guys are, and you guys, this this signal um, that that's in the corner, is being sent 
up this long HDMI cable that runs along the ceiling and then goes over to the big thing right here. So I 3D printed these little clips here um, and they have held up really, really well. I think I shared the 3D file for them on Patreon, but maybe I'll share the 3D file elsewhere. But these have been so nice because you just push up and the cable kind of clicks in. You kind of just like push up right here. The cable clicks in and these are bendy and they just hold the cable. And they're so great for running cables along the ceiling. I'm not sure how many of you guys need cables run along the ceiling, but <clears throat> if you need cables run along the ceiling, they're really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna answer some questions here with, with the HDMI cable in the way. <laughs> are we gonna be making a moving video? We are, we're in the process of filming um, multiple of them right now. What's that? You got, the, you got the thing? Okay, cool. Well, I'll see. Yeah, all right, cool. All right. Yeah, so Caitlin has to go do, take care of some house stuff and she'll be back soon. I'll be in and out. In and out, okay. I need ca all cables of my floor. How long do you think the move will take? You know, we are hiring help for the, ah, oh, thank you. For the, um, the actual transportation of everything since you know we are moving so we're moving to the hill country area ish and um if we were to try to move it ourselves we'd probably have to make multiple trips so we are hiring people to move um the majority of all of our stuff in one fell swoop so we don't need to drive back and forth so hopefully the majority of the the move can be done in three days um if everything goes as planned but you know we have some weird things. We have inert welding gas, we have welders, we have to figure out what types of chemicals they can move and what they can't move. So mm -hmm. it's just gonna be a little bit more uh, complicated. Mic Your mic is on, yeah. Cool. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little bit more unusual than most moves. Yeah, yeah. All right, you can take it over for a bit? Yeah. I'm gonna keep on fixing the cable so I can uh, move it out of the way. Yes. Oh man, will the air conditioning with the googly eyes and the googly eye ruler heart be moving with you? The AC we're leaving for whoever buys this house, um, but we'll definitely be putting AC in the new garage. Like, that's a necessity. Um, hey. Hi. Um, and uh, so the AC will not be moving with us. The googly eye heart will be. We're taking all the cabinets. <laughs> like we need these. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice view. <laughs> you can see how fluffy my hair is. It's been like so rainy today. <laughs> <laughs> how many plushies have you sold? Um, well, the sale is over, um, but the uh, the final amount, it was over 2000. Um, so Evan is gonna cut my hair. We just, it'll probably be at the new house just cause of like time. Um, yeah. But, nice. but it wasn't enough to um, go purple. To go purple. I might still like just do just the tips purple or something. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Oh baby! Will you put a new treadmill? So I don't know if we're gonna do the treadmill desks in the same configuration way. um we actually sold one of the treadmills and we're keeping one but we might get um like an elliptical, elliptical to replace it yeah so one of us can do elliptical one of us can do treadmills what non-work room are you looking forward to unpacking the most mm. the Sorry. office that's a work room oh oh the, the non-work non -work room. room honestly i just like i love unpacking in general organizing and organizing yeah so i'm excited for kind of all of it. <laughs> um, I think the kitchen will be fun. I think, um, well, so, okay, part of the reason that I'm excited about it is also like, I wanna get rid of stuff while we unpack. And we did try mm -hmm. to get rid of some stuff that we don't use anymore, don't need anymore, and give some things away, sell some things uh, before the move. But I know there's stuff that we just didn't have time to get to. So um, that's part of the fun of the unpacking process. 
Um, yeah, purging is the best. Purging is the best. Yeah, like like we yes. love them recondo type, like right, where you put all of the like you put all of your HDMI cables in one pile, and you think you see which, which ones of you these love. Bring me joy. Exactly. <laughs> is there enough space for your Valve Index? Yes. Mm, yeah, I think yes. so. I think yeah. that we're going to set it up. Well, because one of the big saver. one of the big things that we're doing, and like one of the one of our main like wish list items was to be able to separate the office into an office room and a streaming room. Cause you guys have, you know, a lot of y'all have seen our office room and it's so tiny um, for like two giant desks with so many computers. I don't know where everyone went. Um, and you know, we didn't have the space to do something like a, um, like any VR stuff. And you know, we barely had space to roll around our chairs in there. So I, I actually set it up. I had the two, things in the corners of the room. Mm -hmm. I'd push the desk forward, but then like trying to do it with someone also monitoring the chat. We could have done it, but we couldn't have done it um, and had someone there watching chat. It was, it was like a one person activity only um, if well, it's all set up. Will the move be a topic on the podcast too? Yeah, we'll definitely talk about details more on the podcast. We're also, um, filming a moving vlog, which will probably, it'll end up being two parts just cause of how much content it is. We realized if we try to put it all into one, well, originally we were thinking the house tour and the moving <laughs> vlog would all be one video. That would probably end up being like an hour and a half long video yeah. cause the house tour was like 40 minutes. Yeah. And I'm um, sure part one is going to be probably like 15 to 20 minutes and part two is probably going to be another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> What do you think the next resin project's gonna be? Oh, I don't know. I think that we might actually do some more like- uh... We might end up doing some like furniture type stuff because mm -hmm. um, we'll need furniture for the house, you know, we wanna build things. Yeah. And I wanna do like, like when we have a little bit more room, I'd love to do some welding, honestly. I wanna weld too. Welding was, was so fun and it was so powerful feeling. Here, you wanna sit? <clears throat> oh, I'm okay, no, here you sit. No, you're good, I'm, All right. I'm good. All right. Yeah, but I'd love to weld some more. Um, is the uh, P.O. box going to be the same? It will change. We yeah. haven't changed it yet. The old one will still send us. Um, the old one will still like forward things to us mm -hmm. till like the fall. So there will be some overlap if you accidentally send us the old address. As soon as we have the new one, we'll update it. Yeah. I actually love when your videos run long. I enjoy watching them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's, you know, it's partially cause like the really long ones, if it goes over, I think our longest is like 41 minutes. Mm -hmm. If it gets too long, it's, it can be a lot for people, but also it's like so much for me to edit such a long video. It's so much work that it's really hard to do that as like our single output, you know, putting all that work into just one. Um, <clears throat> so. Have you seen the pop sockets have done a new wood and resin? New, oh, wood, resin range, and thermochromatic. Oh, that's cool. Love to see a video with your own versions like the Opal one. That'd be cool. <laughs> and sorry to tro troll some people with our with our stream name, last stream ever at this house. Uh, I think I panicked a decent number of people, so sorry for that. That was just. Yeah. It's true, it was last stream ever at this house. You put at it at this, this house. house. Yeah, it was completely accurate. <laughs> How is Jube with moving? So. She has been through a couple moves because um, she moved from my apartment to our shared apartment and then from our apartment to this house. But it's been many, many years since she moved. So she did fine with them, honestly, but she's older now and I don't know if she remembers and I don't know if she would get more stressed out yeah. now. I also saw a, uh, um, a question about, will there be tacos in the new place? And yes, it, oh, like yes. we're probably gonna be, you know. We're, we're still we're, in Texas, y'all. There's Texas, good tacos yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and like, honestly, Houston has amazing great tacos, but between like San Antonio and Austin, like those are some, like, honestly, I think that is like peak taco location. If you want like the best tacos. Especially breakfast, I would say breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos, tacos yeah. Best breakfast we're tacos biased, are in that range. You know, cause I, like, you know, we, we, we grew up here. We also um, love Houston breakfast tacos. Yeah, though. yeah. Houston tacos in general. Let's see. Did you go back and, uh, and get some no. things? So, uh, oh. Wild Loki, thank you for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. K Manly at 27, 27 months. months. Been whoa, here whoa, so whoa. long. Sorry, we're so late on that, K Manly. Uh, thank let's see. you. Can I get a uh, sound effect on that? 
It's a little low. It's a little low. I can't hear it, actually. I have another earbud in. Okay, let me see. Let me see if we missed any other. Uh... <laughs> if you want to make furniture, you should try making a tiny couch for Jupe. Oh, that would be cute. That'd be very cute. That would be cute. <clears throat> We all epoxy the garage floor. <clears throat> um, well, we, the epoxy garage floor is already. It is in progress. In, yeah, it's, it's in, it's that in is progress. Something yeah. We learned with <clears throat> this house that we have to do it before we move in because stuff in the garage, we can't get it from the garage into the house. It won't fit through doorways. Mm -hmm. And so we need to move all of this directly into the garage. And if we were to do a epoxy garage floor, then all these tools would have to be outside there. for a few days. Or like we'd have to like like move everything to one half, do it, and Ugh. move it to the other, no. and like since we made an executive decision that like it had needed to be done before we moved. That's actually like the only mm -hmm. thing that we're doing to the house before we move. Yeah. Yeah. Does it have a separate workshop or is it in the garage? It's in the garage. next to the Catia 2.0 or their other 2.0s planned. I think like, there's definitely some desks. workshop, yeah, desks 2.0. Yeah. So like our office desks, now that we have a different size and shape room to use, and we, we don't have to fit both the desks into one tiny space, we're gonna do desk 2.0s. Um, there's some definitely some workshop things like wood storage 2.0, very exciting. Yeah. And the new garage is twice as big as this. That's mm -hmm. like one of the big reasons why we got that one. Twice as big of a garage. What are we gonna do there? I don't know, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Dust <laughs> Adderin, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank, thank you. you. Everyone for all of your support. Thank you, thank you everybody. New workbench? Maybe not immediately. I mean, I like this workbench, honestly. We we considered getting some like height changing ones. I know uh, uh, David Pichuto just put mm -hmm. out a video on a height changing one. Also, Adron Q, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you. One hour ago. Oh my gosh. Have we, oh my gosh, this is a longer stream than we've planned for already. But just technical difficulties. We all leave the mood ring toilet seat. No, we took no, it. No, we, we took, took it. it. We, we took, took it. it. We're no. taking that with us. No one else will appreciate it or love it the way that we do. What if they, they, they threw it away? Yeah, what if they got rid of it? They're like, what is this weird toilet seat? It makes me uncomfortable. I'm throwing it away. No. What if they just like gave it away? No. Well, that would be better than, that's actually kind of weird to like give away a toilet seat. <laughs> what if you took it to Goodwill? I don't think they would accept that. I don't think they'd accept that. No. Yeah? No. <laughs> There's rules. <clears throat> Smexy, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Priceless <laughs> artifact. <laughs> yeah, priceless artifact. Uh, did we get a nearby melting pot? Not really. You know, we like we're like you we're know, used to not. You know, in Houston, <clears throat> if, we're if, used if, to having to drive a certain yeah. amount to get to restaurants. Yeah, but also, and, it's like if, if you're in, in Houston, you know, like Houston is like the densest restaurant goodness that I've ever been anywhere. That's Houston true. just has it's hard to such good it. restaurants Our restaurant everywhere. density is <clears throat> lower. Restaurant density is lower, but like. To get more more house, more land, you need to be a little bit farther yeah. from all of the restaurants. It was yeah. just a trade-off. We, we weren't able to find a place where we can have it all. Yeah. Um, but... Calabarius, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you. And Dirt Muffin, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you. <clears throat> Any internet upgrades for the new home? I'm sure. Um, the, the internet's the same, <clears throat> but we are um, gonna have more wireless access points. Yeah. Um, so I'm planning to have four wireless access points throughout the place. And... I've changed Maxwell, thank you for the 3,000 bits! Thank oh, thank you! you. Thank you. Um, so any uh, projects we're leaving behind in the current house? So the, the doors? Oh yeah, so the yeah, the bed. custom the custom doors on the pantry and the bedroom. Um, the Murphy bed is staying. The, um, I mean, it's, it's the things that are like part of the house, aside from the toilet seat, which we took. Um, the laundry room is staying as is. Um, the shed is staying. The garage AC mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. staying. Um, a lot of our projects are detachable. So we took them with us, like the treadmill desks, you know, things that were attached to the house, but we're taking, we're taking these. 
Yeah. We need them. Oh yeah. We need them. Also, also Darth Kyra, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, Darth Kyra. We appreciate oh. the 10 gifted subs. Oh, I got that. Thank you. Yeah, this, this, this past period of time has been like one of the craziest in recent history. I mean, I think that honestly, I'm not sure if you guys can tell from our chaos energy, but like, I think that this, this recent period of time has been like the craziest since we started the channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, moving, selling, buying, just takes up. It, so it, it's time. like so much harder than I would have guessed. Have you already put your house on the market? No, we have not put it on the market yet. Which has led to some of the extra craziness. A lot of people will put their house on the market and then start searching for a new house and then move. Um, and we wanted to find the house first and then put this house on the market. Um, so the like plus side of that is we didn't have as much time pressure. It wasn't like, okay, our house is already on the market. Like we gotta find a house now. So we're, we're really lucky to avoid that. But the stressful thing is we're prepping this house to be like move ready and like market ready. And we're also prepping to move ourselves out at the same time. So that's like mm -hmm. a lot. We showed your mom our, the to-do list today. <laughs> and she was like, ah, she ah. like She had like a physical reaction against it. <sighs> Um, we actually will show the to-do list in like one of the moving vlog videos. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh... <laughs> It'll uh, give you anxiety. Honestly, like, you know, since we've been living here, we have prioritized, like, the business and ourselves, like, and like our own mental well-being to a certain degree, mm -hmm. as like number one. And anything for the house kind of, uh, well, took a back seat. Well, stuff that didn't really matter. It's yeah, like, oh, yeah. bye, Chris. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Um, especially, so like, we're having the whole house painted once we move out. And like, scuffs on the wall and nail holes, just something where like, it didn't bother us enough while we were, you know, the whole time we've been here to, to like fix that up. But those kind of things are, now we're taking care of them all. Ozzy Bear says, um, Left a message on YouTube, but I thought I'd say it here. I'm pregnant and doing seven days, and every time I sing the Resin Time song, <gasps> my, my son starts kicking like crazy. That's he crazy. He's life, and he's not even here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's really cool. Well, congrats in advance. Yeah. The one light bulb in the kitchen. Yeah, we fixed that. <laughs> Yeah, we and fixed also, the light in the kitchen. Like our trees were getting kind of a little bit we crazy. Got the trees we trimmed. got the trees trimmed. We like laid new mulch, mulch and just like all those little things that like, like, you know, it's, it's like, they're not important to us in the day to day, but mm -hmm. like when you're selling the house, you should yeah. probably do a lot of these things. Yeah, you know? it, it adds up. Yeah, curb appeal sells houses. You gotta do the, yeah, uh, you gotta those do the little things. things. Yeah. Get them while they're young, yes. <laughs> Resin time from the beginning. The, the new house does have a pool, so like underwater stream, part underwater two. Underwater stream. You know one thing that I wanted to like build for forever was do some sort of like canoe challenge, mm -hmm. but like built out of some weird material. You know, like Mythbusters did like the duct tape canoe, yep. like something like that, and we tried to build something. Like, honestly, we went back and forth about if we should do a pool or not, because we actively didn't want a pool for this house because yeah. we didn't want to maintain it. But we were like, you know, it could be nice to like try it out, see if that's something we like, but also think of the videos we could do. <laughs> like it opens Resin up. Resin canoe now. Resin canoe? I don't Resin know. canoe is just a fiberglass canoe. Yeah, that's actually like, well, um, uh, Xylofox did the clear did really, like, did, fiberglass. Xylofox awesome. already did like the most awesome. Yeah, resin it's all canoe LED. Ever. Look at it. It's clear. It's, it's so cool. It's awesome. Looking. Yeah. Um, but there's other things. What if we. We could. Yeah, uh, we each make a boat and then we race. Mm -hmm. Or test it, put it through tests. Yeah, sounds fun, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cat Park senior project design was a concrete canoe. <gasps> that oh sounds gosh. difficult. That sounds very difficult. <clears throat> yeah, Subnautica underwater would be really cool. The technical challenges, the main technical challenge The main thing is like, is it's hard. Control. Yeah, it's hard to control the game just because the, um, the keyboard water, yeah. isn't good. The underwater keyboard isn't really Well, bad. the waterproof mouse was the, was way <laughs> oh, worse yeah. than the keyboard. We'd the have keyboard to like have like... a normal one and have it up here, like above the surface. <laughs> that would be really hard. That's the main reason why we just hung out and didn't play a game. Yeah. Liebird the Pie Bird, thank you for the gifted sub. And Tabby Black, thank you for the 13 months. 
Thank you. Last month's been crazy. I've enjoyed every moment. Thank you. Will you bigger shed? Have a bigger shed? Are you still playing, keeping most things in the garage? We don't have a shed at the new house. Mm -hmm. So we have considered building a shed at some point to keep the like non project stuff. You know, we have like rakes and, you know, well, honestly, things like, like that. If we rakes were, and stuff. <laughs> if we were to build a garage <laughs> or like build an, uh, an extension of some sort, I'd honestly like it to be like big enough to be the woodworking shop. Oh. And then like we could have, have to a, like see if that's allowed. We could have like a woodworking shop and then like a place for all the rest. It's not a bad idea. You know, you know what? Like, it's like the rakes can be in here with us. Put the woodworking shop out there because yeah. then all the dust stays. All the there. dust, exactly. Rakes aren't dusty. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Who needs rakes, you know? We are finally, finally gonna get a bigger, beefier table saw so that we can do more woodworking projects without feeling scared of our I little don't know contractor. If you guys Notice, but we avoid using the table saw as much as possible because we ours is on has always we we did recently finally get like an actual cart for it that's yep. meant for it and mm -hmm. that did make it better but it just never felt super secure because we always would have to like put it away and then set it up on a table it never had a permanent spot because of space and so we're anytime we had to use it we're like this makes me nervous. <laughs> Hyper Panda, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, we appreciate it. And Liebird the Piper, thank you for the gifted oh, subs. Oh, I did that one. Uh, oh, here. Tabby Black. I got that one. Sorry. <laughs> no. You were just using the, the thing. Shifty Moon, thank you for the 12 months, whole year. Jackal Mastin, thank you for the thousand bits. We appreciate it. Any fruit trees at the new house now? No. Oh, and Juby does use her, her hamster wheel a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She does, she started using it. I mean, anyone who saw the um, her last stream, because mm -hmm. yeah. she streams over at Evan and Caitlin Alt on Twitch, she uh, used it on the stream. <clears throat> How big is the new garage? It's 800 square feet, I think. Mm -hmm. About. About. About, yeah. Yeah, so it's not like giant. It's still definitely garage size. It's not giant workshop size. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had like this super crazy, ideal wish list of like every single item oh and we realized God. that that house doesn't exist so we'd have to sacrifice or if that house existed we would need to build it ourselves and it'd be way more expensive than we would be comfortable spending oh my yeah. gosh and like building a house while living farther away and also building materials yeah. are so expensive right now like yeah. um i don't know if if you guys know this we listen to like some of the maker podcasts and things yeah. like that but like plywood, two by fours, MDF. The cost of resin, the resin that's used to make MDF is spiking. Steel is more yeah. expensive. So everything is like super expensive to build. Yeah, <laughs> some, some people are like saying like, that garage is bigger than my apartment. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's a big garage. It's gonna be but, like, plenty. Basically that's our like workshop, warehouse, like work studio. area, studio. Because like, we thought about just renting a warehouse just for work, but it just made sense to, because we like working at home and not having to go somewhere else, it made sense just to like pay more to get the space in the house rather than paying to get the space in a separate workshop. So, yeah. you know. And then, well, Snexy's Lexi, thank you for gifting five subs twice, 10 total gifted subs just right there after. Um, that's 20 total today. Oh no, yeah, 20 total today, thank you. Thank you, Smexy, thank you. We appreciate it. And also, I think that like, I'm not sure if it's something that we've said in this stream, um, the house is big enough for us to have, uh, we're gonna put one um, uh, office, one room is gonna be the office, one room is gonna be streaming, and we're gonna have a whole nother room for um, a craft stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, because, <laughs> Just like as is evidenced by the beginning of this stream, for those of you who are here at the beginning. Live, yeah. Ooh. Um, this streaming setup, every time we use it, our garage streaming setup, we have to like we put it away in the laundry room over here, mm. and then we bring it out here and set it up again. But the we're it's, always having to rehook everything up, and it's limiting because like if we're in the middle of a resin project or we have the pressure pot here or something's curing here, then we can't there's no space to like move it out of the way or some space like some things you don't want to move like you don't want to move a piece of resin that's well, but also it's like it's um, it's really heavy setting it's super it up, heavy there's always like there's always something wrong when i set it up unlike yeah. with our desk where it's like permanently set up so so we wanted to 
our goal was either in the garage to have two different like filming areas, one for mm -hmm. filming and then one for the crafting streams. That way we could have two things going at once. We didn't have to like clean up a project in order to do a craft stream and we could just leave this like big old thing out. So we either wanted that or we wanted a room inside where we could do that. We were flexible. The house we ended up buying, it just ended up working out that an inside room worked better. But <clears throat> make sure the table's level in the new house. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. We should do that. Well, I actually like have in my head like a design for a like much better leveling table mm -hmm. that we'll either either put on this table or it'll be its own separate thing mm -hmm. with the rails and everything. That'll probably be a build. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have some ideas. I have some like so many ideas for the new place now that like we have more room um, and basically just more room. Yeah. yeah. We we had to prioritize space and also we like we wanted to give ourselves a little bit of room to grow into just so that we didn't have to move and then immediately fill it up again. We're gonna try not to fill it up. Uh, Eighty twenty makes self leveling casters. <gasps> Let me look that up right now so I can uh, reference that lady make later. Her, make her podcast recommendations. We listen to Making It. It's uh, Bob Cla Claggett from I Like Make Stuff, um, Jimmy Duresta from Jimmy Duresta, and David Pachuta from Make Something. And, um, you know, we're friends with those guys, and uh, they have a weekly podcast, and it's just chill. Um, oh my gosh, you guys are moving! Yes, <laughs> we're moving. <laughs> we're moving. It's crazy. Okay, 8020 leveling casters. Evan's oh, wow. shopping. They're expensive, but I like them. <laughs> well, they expensive, baby. Baby. expensive <laughs> casters. Who sent those to us? How you. dare you? <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Do you have any tips for someone moving to Texas who's never been there in their life? I'll be in the DFW area for about a month for a job. You know, to be truthful, I haven't spent a ton of time in the DFW area. And the thing about Texas is like, the cities are very different, like the big cities. Mm -hmm. We've spent, we're more familiar with like Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. Um, like that little trifecta. But um, most grocery stores in uh, Texas are going to have homemade tortillas. Take advantage of that while you're here. And um, buy some to bring back with you. <laughs> Also, Whataburger spicy ketchup. You can also get that at the grocery stores. Go to H-E-B. Most of my recommendations are about food. Just like... Go, around, revolve around H-E-B. Especially like Mexican food, you know? Like you can just get really, really great stuff. You know what? <laughs> you know what I found recently? I'm sure they know exactly where the googly eyes are packed. Oh yeah. Oh, Evan just grabbed them. Yeah. I've known that they were there. Yeah. That's our, that's our pack of little ones. I'm going to add one to the monitor up there. Sure. Why not? I'm gonna find the appropriate size I'm excited ones. to find new places to add. Should I do, should I do these? Oh, I like those, the tall skinnies. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to find new places to add googly eyes <laughs> in the next house. <clears throat> um, 100 Acre Wood, thank you for the 11 month sub. Drawing Tamara, thank you for the four months. Gonna miss this garage, we're looking forward to the new location. I know, it's kind of bittersweet. Hot Pocket Gamer, thank you for the three months and one day in May, thank you for the sub. Oh, okay, then can you witness me? Okay, so this is where we monitor all of the potential sources we can switch to. Oh, it's a touch screen. Ah. Uh oh. Go away. What are you doing? Go this away. This is why you shouldn't mess with things. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh, I like it oh. already. Yeah, so look at the preview over here. You need to, the, the corner's covered. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is a vast improvement. Yes, vast. Thank goodness I have fingernails today. Yeah, usually you take your fingernails off. Did you, what did you do? You're touching things. Why? Why you do that? <laughs> Go back. Monitor. Look at his face. His face looks great, but you totally, uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh, yeah, right, good. Yay, look at him. He's great. I'm sorry. He's great. <laughs> They're a little crooked. They're a little crooked. No, it's personality. Personality, yeah. Yes, personality. Like, 
When I uh, when I went to when, when Maker Fair used to happen, I'd actually carry um, a few googly eyes around with me that I could just like put on things. Yeah, that was fun. That was I do fun. miss Maker Fairs. I'm excited for events again. This is turning into the googly eye stream. <clears throat> yeah. I've watched you guys since the beginning and it's so exciting to see how you've come. You deserve the best of luck to you with the future endeavors. Thank you, Bulletproof Taco. We appreciate it. Huh. Wait, locally made tacos aren't a common thing. I didn't realize they were special. They were that special up here in Michigan. I mean, maybe they are in some areas. Uh, oftentimes if we're like traveling for like a family reunion or an event or something, um, it's not as easy to find them. But you know, I'm making that assumption based on just some places. I've not been everywhere. Um, but they are really good here. I think that they're just puffier here. Like they thicker puffier. and puffier and more fat. <laughs> Will there be a new house tour? So I don't think that we're gonna do a new house tour, which I'm sure will disappoint people. Um, there's a reason that we didn't do a house tour in this house. What are you doing? There's a reason that we didn't do a house tour in this house until we were getting ready to move. And that's just cause like, it feels, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> It feels like in terms of, you know, privacy and safety and things like that, that it's probably not smart to give like a full layout tour of your home on the internet. He looks great. He's, he's very nice. Ah! What a great nose. Oh man. It just adds so much personality. Okay, it go does. for it. But yeah, so like maybe if we move away from the next house, <laughs> then you'll get a tour. But, but like, um, yeah, like what, what, what we'll probably do though is like, like as we make over a room where we put furniture in yeah, one room. Yeah, you'll see like individual rooms yeah. as we like either do a room makeover or build furniture for it. Um, but we're probably not going to do like a walk around, follow us around house tour like we did in this house. Yeah, like here's all of our uh, motion sensors and glass break sensors. Yeah, and, and like here's know, the exact cameras, layout just in yeah. case you want to break in. <laughs> you know, make sure you turn to the right to get to the office where all the expensive stuff is, you know? So, you know, not, yeah, like not that we're really worried about that happening, but it just seems better not to tempt fate. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tig, thank you for the thousand bits. This chest has finally gotten to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Leave me, thank you for the thousand bits. We appreciate it. And Sarah, thank you for the eight months sub. Yeah, well this, this is like, journey you know, you. thank you. We, we, we haven't been taking many breaks recently. Yeah, if only you guys saw the list. Oh, oh the list. The list, the list is crazy. Well, I'm trying to like find more googly eye locations. <laughs> Please but. provide social security numbers while doing the tour, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll we'll make sure to do a tour of our social security numbers and all of Bank that. login. Bank logins. Yeah. All mm -hmm. that. Are you taking the toast with you? Okay. We we, we, <laughs> we filmed a toast update. Yeah, when, we when need should we to share that. Yeah. We'll we'll share it soon. We filmed a toast update because we were like, will the toast survive the move? Like, do we need to put the toast with the I delicate think, items? Should we get rid of the concrete? I kind of think we should get rid of the concrete toast and just keep the resin because the concrete ones are breaking apart. Yeah. The resin toast concrete and the plain toast with can nothing get right on it. Out. Yeah, concrete can get right out. That's yeah. what I'm leaning towards. It, the, the concrete ones are just like disintegrating. But like, I feel like we gotta keep the resin ones. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a hype train going too. Thank you Hi guys train, for the support. Thank you. Furball Micah, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Nerd Holla, thank you for the two month sub. And Kuro Savas, thank you for the seven right. months. Let me see how bad my socks are. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay, this, this sock is complete. People Does keep on bidding. About your socks? People keep on bidding to my <laughs> sock fund. How? Well, what about the other sock? <laughs> oh, yeah, show it. <laughs> it's got a hole. <laughs> That's two. That's two right there. <laughs> I'll get more socks. I'll get more socks. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> well, live thank you for the 200 bits. Apart from the workshop, what do you think the first room to be finished will be? Maybe office or streaming? Like, we're, we're probably going to finish <clears throat> the rooms that we need to use for work first and then yeah. focus on personal use yep. rooms. O there. Honestly, like, we, we chose the house, but we haven't done much planning for the house yet, oh. just because we're so like, we, we had to like, you know, immediately focus on like, you know, coming back here, 
packing, getting this house ready for sale, mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Grandpa, thank you for the five hundred bucks. <clears throat> so we really haven't done too much planning of the new place, but I have been thinking, Caitlin, what do you think about two separate leveling desks for our office? So that way you can have one at a different height than me because we're different heights. Oh, not so different height desks. <clears throat> yeah. Leveling desk makes me think that it would, I mean, I, I would hope that any desk we build would be level. No, no, sorry, uh, adjustable, adjustable height. height? Yeah. Well, why do they need to be adjustable height? We'll just build one at your height and one at my height. But I don't know what my height is. Well, you, we'll just figure it out. I just need to play with it for a bit. That adds so much, so, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on a little mini, not rant, <laughs> observation. I love you so much. I love you so much. And I love that you're always future-proofing yes. things. Yes. You're always thinking about, you know, if we need to change this, yeah. it'll be great if the whole thing is modular and yeah. on wheels and like super beefy just so it can hold up to anything yeah. we do to it. And sometimes we do utilize that and sometimes we just really over-engineer something and make it way more expensive, way heavier, and way bulkier yes. than it needs to be. So how about a compromise? How about, how about? Comes <laughs> out here, Caitlin, look at this, look at this. We built two wonderful beefy desks in the, uh, in our in our office. Mm -hmm. One, so glad we did, because we attached yes. a crap ton of stuff the to it. The streaming desk, yes. Streaming desk, so glad we went heavy duty. Mm -hmm. For our main desk, it wasn't needed, but the good thing is we're going to take it apart and we're going to reuse those components I don't to. Know I no, 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 for 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 workshop stuff. Yeah, but it's like we could have just bought those components for the workshop stuff when we yeah, needed it. Yeah, but see, it. we only needed to buy it once. It's we we cost, would still only need to buy it once. Savings. It's it's future proofing. No, 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 hold on, hold on. If we if we spend on materials for a desk. And then we turn those into a workbench, and then we spend materials on a new desk. We're spending on materials for two things. So how's that different than if we spend materials for a desk and then spend our materials for a workbench later? That's two but, items. But see, like then if we turn that workbench into something else. Nothing, it's, you could just build the new thing. <laughs> the modularity, design, aesthetic, um, additional little things you can attach. The, the 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 options are endless, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, thank you for the 14 months sub. Uh, thank you, Don Ocano. Thank you for the four months. Echo Nine, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you, Echo Nine. We appreciate it. TLC Blondie, our awesome mod. Thank you for 300 bits. Love for the toe. Silent Warlock, here's for the sock fun. Thank you. Aquila Nebula, thank you for the three months sub. Uh, Mythical Suki, thank you for the gifted sub. And Hyper Panda, thank you for the 500 bits. I'm gonna do some live things. No! How he said aesthetic. Yeah, Evan really emphasizes the ass in aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? Yes. <laughs> he, put the, he put the ass in aesthetic. Tink, thank you for the five gifted subs. We appreciate it. Oh no, we got warned. Oh no. <laughs> Nightbot warned us. It's not that kind of stream. I feel another Biverse DIY coming up. We have oh, one. We actually do have a Biverse DIY in mind. But. Are those sound effects a little bit better, guys? What do you think? Are they pretty good? Tig, thank you for the five gifted subs. How will you explain the, to the moving people about all the weird projects they're moving? Okay. Oh, oh, so, no, no, no. <laughs> so, okay. So, the weirdest, I would say the weirdest two things we've made the mood ring toilet seat and the cat bed made of yep. beans. Yep. The mood ring toilet seat, because it's delicate, the finish, well, it's not really delicate, it's covered in resin, well, no, no, but, but it but, could but, get cracked or something. But the impact, the impact, the will, impact be fine, will be fine for the resin, but, but it'll it will crush the crystals crush underneath. the crystals. So we're moving that ourselves in our car, and the cat that made of jeans, I put it in a trash bag and I put it in the closet. I'm just hoping that they don't question it. I'm hoping that they, they don't like look at it. And they're just like, well, it's probably a pillow in here. Feels like a, like a strange pillow. I'll just pack that. If we have to explain it, I'm not sure what that's gonna do to our relationship with the movers. If they're not gonna trust us, they're gonna think we're weird. I don't know. Bryce P, thank you for the thousand bits. <clears throat> Wait, how it. is this working? Huh? I don't even understand what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me check the stream again. Like, is it is it working? I don't trust myself anymore. Uh oh. 
it's all it's all fun, but like it's <laughs> doing it via HDMI audio capture. What did I even how did I even set this up? Maybe I am smart. <laughs> Rose Red, thank you. Congrats on the new house. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Brandy, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Austin, for the three month sub. <clears throat> People are saying it seems to be working fine. All right, cool. Stop. I'm just like, like I'm just I'm impressed though. I, I, I knew what I was doing back when I did this. <laughs> be wild if one or more of the movers were fans that would that would be that would be crazy small world that would be very small world <clears throat> we have told them that or like we didn't we asked them if they would be okay with us like getting some time lapses of the house getting emptied out you know like i'm not sure how much we're going to be able to film of it because it could just be super crazy but we wanted minimum get like some time lapses of this house getting packed up and emptied out the you know new house getting filled up we'll see what we can do though <clears throat> Are there some things you just don't know how you're gonna move to the new house? Um, there's definitely things that we don't know, like where their place will be in the new house. Cause either they were built for a specific room layout or something here, or, you know, it's just, it's just hard to know. But um, we pre-moved a bunch of our projects, like the things we moved ourselves. Um, and, uh, yeah. 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 that works, it works. Nice. I don't understand. What's your favorite thing about the new house? I think just having more room. Honestly, more room, yeah. And it's, it's mostly related to, to work stuff, having a bigger workshop and being able to split our office into two rooms so that the streaming is its own room. Like, because we spend, those are the spaces we spend the most time in, especially the office. And, um, like in our current office, we like couldn't have natural light because we had to leave it always set up for streaming. It was very tiny and it's gonna be nice just to like have windows open in the office, you know? <clears throat> Is the epoxy floor gonna be decorative in the new garage? No, like if we were in a scenario where we could, we had the time to go there early and do it ourselves, we, might, we probably would have tried something kind of crazy and fun, but um, because like we have to get it done before we move in and we didn't even think about that till like a few days ago my dad was like hey if you're gonna do this you should do it before you move oh. and it has to cure for a couple days so there's mm -hmm. no time for like us to go up and do it so we had to hire someone to do it um and so uh so it's just gonna be a normal one is flutal all packed up yet yeah flutal <laughs> flutal um left uh a little bit ago when we did an initial trip yeah, I think um, we did that post on uh, on socials already, right? With us. Flutal's in the trash bag in the background of that photo. We put him in a trash bag. I didn't want his, his fluffs to get snagged on him. Yeah, he's a delicate he's boy. He's a delicate boy. Um, don't let him hear you say that. He's very strong, all powerful and mighty. Yeah. Um, but he's also a delicate boy. But he's also a delicate boy, so we put him in a trash bag. Yeah, like five posts ago. You can't see him, actually. No, you can't. He's on the bed. Yeah, he's, a, he's in a trash bag on the bed. <clears throat> yeah, so we moved a bunch of stuff that we had made ourselves and like some art that um, <coughs> we were worried about it getting scratched up. Ironically, yeah. we kind of scratched some of it, but it's not the worst thing we did. But at least we, we put more. those scratches in, so they're <laughs> sentimental scratches. Yeah. <clears throat> did the recent issues this past winter affect your decision on where to choose to move? Oh, like the freezes? No, just because it's it was such a rare thing and hopefully it will continue to be a, a rare thing. Um, yeah, I did. But that get, didn't really factor in. I did go ahead and get more yeah, um, you see, you see. Uh, battery backup uh, stuff in place, so that if anything ever happened again, like any power outage event, would still be able to work. Maybe do a stream or, or who knows? Because um, like you know, we had to pause work for a few days, and and that you know is as a business stopping work, like when your employees aren't working, mm -hmm. that's not good as a business. So, uh, you know, I want us to be able to keep on working for us because like- I think to like, justify some expenditures <laughs> to get some, some toys. batteries. <laughs> and the generator. Yeah. <clears throat> Still haven't gotten that set up, but like I got that like when we knew we were gonna be moving already, mm -hmm. so. Smexy, thank you for the 300 bits. We appreciate it. Sending big hearts to the mods and the editors. Thank you, Leah B. Thank you, mods. Thank you, editors. 
moment when we do our first below zero stream. <clears throat> I don't know. It, uh, honestly, we want to play it soon. It, yep. It's just going to depend on when we get the streaming set up. up. Yeah, yeah. I that, think the next be... couple games that we want to do are below zero in Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Um, I mm -hmm. don't know which we'll do first, but the main thing is going to um, be that. Here, do you want to switch to this cam for a bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, since go. we're facing this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smart, smart. Thanks, sugary snickerdoodle. That was a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. Any plan for your first night meal in the new house? Honestly, everything's pizza. gonna be packed. It's gotta be pizza, right? <laughs> like you have to order pizza and eat it from like around a box with your friends and family that helped you move. Like that's the thing it has to be. Well, yeah, have you made sure there's a nearby entrance to the cat dimension so the droop can travel with ease? The thing is, as humans, we cannot locate the entrance. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see where she finds it. Yeah. But yeah. I'm sure, I mean, she no, is you know, cat, very skilled. She has found cat dimensions, entrances, at every place she's lived. Yeah. So, like, she'll find it. Especially being a void, like, she has added capabilities. Yeah. <laughs> um, love playing Snap, it's good so far, awesome. Like, I, I think that that was what we were thinking about doing, but like, That we was thinking, the plan like, for tonight, originally. We can play Pokemon <laughs> Snap, Anywhere, it'd be hard to do like one last hang draw out stream here. hangout. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything that like I can show that's <laughs> cool? We haven't really done much in the garage. You can show the toast coasters. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. Oh, we, yeah. Most of what we have in here, I mean, you, we have like the cabinets are unpacked. You can right? do uh, hit alt. Um. Go back. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so like those are the upper cabinets we have behind it. Right that's here. a sc that's our um, one of our screens that Evan took down. It's not the screen that we cut a hole in for the catio, but he took it down to get measurements for that one. We've been putting off removing the catio until the very last minute, so the catio is still up. Yeah, like we we borrowed coolers from my parents so that um. Uh, we can move our refrigerator stuff. Yeah. Um, you know we we. Uh, we actually uh, gave the our, 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 the CNC that you guys have seen us use a lot to a local makerspace so yeah, that they can use barn. it. Yeah, maker barn. Because um, we are going to get one with tool changers. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah, it's not if, anyone, yet. if anyone is in the um, Houston or Woodlands area, you can go to Maker Barn and use our CNC and one of our. Actually, we've given several things to them, so they have a couple of our CNCs and a couple 3D printers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we didn't put stickers on this one. We put stickers on the last. Oh, one. shucks. No, they I think might... we, we do. We do have one sticker. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else we can show? Not really. I mean. I you know, mean, there, there's still some things that I want to make decisions about. Like, we, we didn't, um, oh, like, sorry, what, I put it to alt because I thought you were. What are we going to do with these? The Oh, well, we were going to make a second space bar keyboard. I think we should still maybe like pack them up, take them with us and but, do something like, We need them. to pack them, you know, because they're really delicate. Yeah. Um, I, I switched it. Yeah, perfect. Um, I keep stealing your chair every time you, you get up. Maybe we get two chairs at the new place. Cause we'll have all the space. Oh, so much space, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, the workshop is actually one of the spaces where we didn't change things as much cause we were, you know, we were working on that resin project and then we didn't know if we would have time for like a crafting stream or what we wanted to do for our last stream. So we've left up the majority of the workshop stuff and the office and streaming stuff. But mm -hmm. after today, I think. Yeah, yeah like, after today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna This start is like breaking. the last content aside from stuff we filmed for the moving vlogs. <clears throat> I'm gonna start breaking down um, this mobile stream, oh. mobile stream setup. It's so mobile. I'm going to, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's. So mobile. It's more mobile than our desk. That's true. <laughs> I can't look. <laughs> yeah, um, but we're gonna break this down. We're gonna break the, um, actually both desks down. Cause, well, that's the only way to fit them through the doorway. We yeah. built them in the room, so they won't yeah. go through the doorway if we yeah. don't break so, them down. So both desks are getting broken down. <clears throat> and like, it's, it, it's, 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 there's multiple ways to do it. I haven't talked about this with you, but like, <clears throat> when we break it down, should we just put everything that was on the streaming desk into a box that says streaming desk? Or should we like put the HDMI cables with the HDMI cables, the switchers, with the switchers. I think that's my instinct is to put it all together. I think let's put it all together, just in like one big technology box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, yeah. it's ultimately like, because you're the one that's gonna be setting that 
up. So what's mm -hmm. easiest for you? My instinct would be to keep it all. Yeah. I think probably keep it all together, even though I'll probably be changing things around. But it'll at least give you a starting point. Yeah, because like, you know, um, we published on Evan and Caitlin too, we published um, the current desk streaming setup. And you all had some wonderful ideas, especially on Patreon, mm -hmm. um, on different ways we can improve mm -hmm. things. So I think that we are thinking about, so there is a closet that we're gonna turn into a server closet off of the streaming room. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually thinking about putting computers in there, running optical Thunderbolt 3 cables um, from that room out to the desk. That so way there's less computer noise. Two less computer noises. <clears throat> We'll have one computer there that's our streaming computer because there's just too many cables going back and forth in there. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll uh, um, also think about try, instead of all the laptops recording everything individually, I think we're gonna try using a different piece of software that records them all locally on one computer. Now, is our computer powerful enough? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah, optical Thunderbolt 3. You can get like 50 foot Thunderbolt 3 cables. Tig, thank you for the gifted sub. I was hoping there would be no goop in the new house. <laughs> no goop yet. But we still never found the true source of the goop. But what if we move the goop? But we haven't fully moved everything out of here. Maybe we'll find the goop once Maybe we we'll move these the cabinets. Goop. We'll tell the, the, the movers, keep an eye out for the goop. Yeah. <clears throat> Contact Linus from Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> <laughs> he probably could build a computer that could do that. I don't know. The goop is eternal. Also, um, like there are some um, repeat questions. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not answering them if we've answered them already, just because we're also recording this for a YouTube video. I saw yeah. that the mods will try to answer it if it's a repeat question. So if you see the mods answering it, it's because you know, we're not ignoring you. We just um, have already answered it and we don't want to be answering the same things over and over yeah. for those who have been here since the beginning. Um, make sure you have plenty of ventilation. Yeah, we do need ventilation in the server closet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about just adding a fan on top that'll either push air in or pull air out. I'll do research on which one is more efficient. Yeah. Um, and that fan will just run constantly um, circulating air between the uh, streaming room and the server closet. So that means that the streaming room will mm. still probably be hot. Eh, you know. <clears throat> what if we vent it out into the hallway? <laughs> then yeah. the hallway can be hot. Hot, long hallway. <laughs> Do you like the new kitchen more than your old one? I mean, it's hard to say like from a functional perspective since we haven't cooked in it yet, but it's not orange. So aesthetically, I like it. Um, but yeah, it's a, I think it's, um, I think it should be fine. Yeah. Vent into the attic. Oh, but so no vent into the attic kitchen. and pull from the house. Oh, vent oh. into the attic. But would that- So we will then, be going into the attic. But the, 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 like, the house has like a pretty good seal like, cause like it has like the intake or something. We'll, we'll figure we'll, it we'll, out. We'll talk with a uh, HVAC professional uh -huh. and get a professional's opinion because we don't know what we're doing. Has the new house and supervisor <laughs> approved? She's not been there yet. So yeah. I hope so. Oh really, Linus, Linus did the exact same thing to his home. Servers <laughs> in the room next door and optical cables to the huh. desks. I'm gonna check that Perfect. out, Disco Ball. Thank you. John Marie, thank you for the 10 month sub. We appreciate it. And Dim Sum Seafood, thank you for the sub. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh no, RIP the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we are gonna try to, to hopefully not be in the attic as much. Uh, mini split directly into the server room. That would be pretty expensive. I don't know. Yeah, that's <laughs> that might be overkill for like a small closet. It's just a tiny closet. It's not like a like a room. Yeah. <laughs> was it more stressful purchasing this house or your, your new house? Definitely the new house was more stressful. Mm -hmm. I think like when we purchased this house, one, the move itself was less stressful because we were just moving from a small one bedroom apartment. So we there wasn't as much stuff. Um, we were buying a house, like the area we were looking in was in like a 30 minute radius of our apartment. And so we didn't have to travel that far to see houses um, as opposed to this move where we have to drive several hours every time we like went to go see houses. And um, 
like our needs were a lot more specific with this house. Um, whereas with the first house, we were like, we kind of know a general size. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's going to be bigger than the apartment, so it'll be fine. You know, we kind of had like a general kind of general area and size, but there's just so many more requirements for this one because it's like personal requirements. Ooh, I just stepped on my shoe. <laughs> and business requirements. And, um, you know, trying to keep up like our work, which is already pretty time demanding and do the move was more stressful than like, when we moved the last time I was freelancing. So I could just like very easily cut back my hours and manage a lot of the move. Um, I'm so. just gonna I'm just gonna zoom out <laughs> yeah, all sure. the way. Yeah. Is there anything else they can show? Oh, yeah, the, the love letters or the, the EK, EK letters are, are gone. gone, which is sad. Yeah, <laughs> the cabinets being gone is weird. Yeah, I, I think that's the biggest biggest weird thing. Mm -hmm. um, ha, ha, one thing that we haven't talked about too much is like what we want to do with the new garage, because like. This is, this is where we've worked and done everything for so long. You can probably pretty much see the whole, whole place. Um, <clears throat> but now we're gonna have almost double this. So this was 400, we're gonna have like 800-ish. A little less, yeah. And, um... Caitlin takes the chair again every time you get up. <laughs> Don't take it, take it, take it, sit, sit, sit. I'm like, empty I, I, chair, it shouldn't I be wasted. To, I wanted to walk, I wanted to stretch. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're getting a bigger table saw, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so that we can actually use it more. We are gonna get a different CNC, mm -hmm. but it's gonna actually be a little bit, a little smaller, bit smaller footprint. And like, what else are we yeah, gonna spend the space on? Maybe just like <laughs> a little bit of walking space? Well, yeah, I think honestly that is a big part of it because like right now, um, all, a lot of our stuff is kind of tetris -ed. Let me know when you're ready and I'll switch to the cam. A lot of our stuff is kind of tetris together and this is already with some things gone. Yeah. Um, so like, in order to get to the router table right now, like, I mean, obviously the cabinets are in the way, but we have to move so many things and that's how it's always been. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah in to order- get material out. Like one thing that's crazy is like, <laughs> we have, like when, when we were, like, I was sorting through material to see what we wanted to throw away. And I'm like, dang, we have a lot of really good material, like back here and over here, that's just gone up in value. Great investment. Yeah. <laughs> But like, you know, it's a, uh, it's a- uh, Everything though- um, Tough to get to, cause- It's tough to get to, so I think part of it, honestly, is just having a little bit more open space. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, but I think we'll, we'll take our best shot at getting the initial stuff set Move up. Move the car back inside, no. No, <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gonna be for stuff. It's all gonna be for stuff. Do you guys think you'll like the other house more than this one? I think we're definitely gonna like having more space. Um, so, I mean, if we thought we'd like it less, we wouldn't move to it. <laughs> that would, I mean, I guess there's definitely like, if you're in a situation where you're moving for work yeah. and you have to move and there's like a very set time limit, you know, you might be in a situation where you're like, I got two weeks to find a house. Like, it just is what it is. Um, we looked at, we're, we're volunteering ourselves to move, so. Yeah, there's a slight spoiler for the intro of the, the video, but um, the moving vlog part one, but we looked at 40 houses or so. That's a lot. We like visited. Especially not being local <clears throat> too. We went so many, so many weekends. Yeah, we we like were we, traveling we, almost every weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking at yeah, houses. we we put so much time into this search, and finding the the house, and then we almost lost it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, like like forty. I think I think forty is an, uh, like a very large number of houses to visit in person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we looked at even more online. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> are you gonna have a video organizing your stuff? I'm not sure, just cause like. A lot of organizing, we'll do like a little bit here, a little bit there. I could see us maybe doing like a stream where we do some workshop organizing or something, like <clears throat> where there's like a concentrated Okay, yeah, so thing. look, La, La La Lauren said we saw at least 45 with our realtor. See, we're not, we're not uh We're not crazy. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. <clears throat> <clears throat> If it's meant to be yours, nobody can take it. We weren't feeling that until we had it. <laughs>
Did you walk in and just know? Honestly, not no, really. Yeah. Like, ironically, so we we were taking photos and videos of every single house we visited we visited. And we didn't take I think I took like one photo of this house. Um and like I I was the one that pushed to see it because I liked how it looked online. Um, but Evan was actually really excited about this other house we were seeing right after it. Yep. And um, so we left this house and Evan was like, you know, it was pretty good, it was fine. I was just like looking forward to the next house so much. Yeah, and then we got to the next house and you're like, oh my gosh, this house is so cool. But then we found out a lot of things about it that would make it really, really hard for resale down the line. Mm -hmm. And like being people that grew up moving a lot, we're always thinking about resale, even if it's not in the near future, we're like, we don't want something that will be difficult to sell because you never know where life will take you and you might need to sell it. Um, and after that, then I was like, so what about that, that other house? The first one we saw, like it was, it was pretty nice, right? And you're like, oh yeah, I guess it was pretty nice. And then I was like, let's do it. And Caitlin's like, wait, what? I'm like, wait, what? A second ago, you're saying let's put an offer on the other house. And now you're like, wait, the first house? <laughs> like I got major whiplash. <laughs> it was a journey, it was a journey. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> My parents took over a year back when they were looking for their house. Yeah, well, it's funny because like, um, you know, your parents are like, are you guys rushing into this? You know, because they have taken lots of time to look for their new house. Um, but it was like once we decided we wanted to do it, we started looking and then we started seeing how fast houses were getting bought up. Like there were so many houses where we would make plans with our realtor to like come see them in a couple days because yeah. it was hard to leave like the next day because um, again, we had to travel. Uh, and before we could get to them, they'd already be sold. And so yeah. that kind of like put a little rush on us that like, we need to see everything we can. And if we find something we like, we have to put an offer on, on yeah. it. Like we can't think about like it. Like right then. <clears throat> yeah. There were multiple bidding wars that happened on houses that we <coughs> saw and we were thinking about going for. Mm -hmm. And you know, ooh, ooh, it was crazy. Yeah. Well, and there would have been a bidding war in this house. There was an offer coming in mm -hmm. that would have come in after like we got it under contract or whatever. Like if we hadn't moved forward, there was another one pending. <clears throat> yeah, it's a crazy market out there right now. I think like, I'm not sure if it's like everywhere, but like definitely in Texas. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just crazy times right now. Mm -hmm. You wanna sit? No, nah, I like you should, this. You should, really? Oh, yeah, I like it, I like okay. it, yeah. It's interesting they have how many houses are available. The absurdity of such a huge number doesn't doesn't feel huge. Well, I guess it depends on like how specific your needs are. Like I said, because we're buying for like personal and business reasons. Oh, is this is this a, a nice look? It's great. I'm just practicing for for your haircut. For when you give me a haircut. Yeah, you want it to look like, like this, right? Yes. All right, comb over. Yeah, I want my hair to start here, to start here and end here. Okay, that's cool. all I want. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Where do you want bangs again? I mean, I kind of do. I've considered it. I've considered it so many times, but I don't know because, like, the popular thing now. Ooh, here, this is a good test. The popular thing now is like curtain bangs, but like, I don't know if I can rock that look. I, I had. You can just, rock any look you want, baby. Thanks, baby. So like, is that cute? Did I get them in the middle? I can't, I can't tell because this is reversed. Hold on. <laughs> like my widow's peak. Wait, move them, move it. Hold, hold your hand closer to the front. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, there right. we go. Like, is that cute? That's actually a pretty good test. <laughs> Come on, I'm exposed. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, here. Hold still. And I'm gonna try to like release. I still didn't quite get them in the middle. It's gotta be in the middle. Oh, it's people like it. <laughs> it's gotta be in the middle? Yeah. That's, that. if I'm doing the bangs that are stylish. Directly in the middle. The part is in the middle and then there are curtain bangs. Like, what is that, uh -huh. 70s bangs? <laughs> this one side's pretty weak. The end of my ponytail is not very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I should chop it off. Yeah, we should. No, no, no. Just 
this is not the time. This is not what we agreed upon, no. Oh, an axe. Right, that's what we, we agreed to. We should do a vote. Like what, what tool should Evan use to chop my hair off? An axe? Shears? Nothing rotary though, nothing rotary. The big scissors? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Fire and torch it? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, it's not happening now. This is not the time. This is not the time. But it will probably be happening soon. <coughs> oh. The resin knife. I don't think it's sharp enough, y'all. <gasps> no. <laughs> just like, just a no. little, like, all I do is I get your ponytail and I stick it in here and go, and then like, that's the video. There yeah, you go. There you go. Cramp hands, thank you for the sub. We appreciate it. I should, I should use all of them and rank them as to what was the best. <laughs> just do like a different section with each. Lava yeah. buckets. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe, maybe these snips right here. Yes. You know, maybe, well, and anyone just hopping in, we're not doing the hair cutting right now. That's not what's happening right now, but we will. Are you doing a test piece? No! No, that's not allowed! No! No, how dare you! Rude! I got one! I'm not gonna give the results. I'm not gonna give the results. I wanna do this. I wanna test all of these. We'll do it in the video. Them. I wanna rank them on how good they are at cutting your hair. We'll do it in the video, but you're gonna have to use some very little amounts because we need to have room to chop off your damage. <laughs> How rude, sir. That's illegal! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is like, I, like you know, I, I wonder if you guys have noticed, y'all who have been here for the whole stream, like, have you noticed the recovery of our energy as the stream has gone on? I've like, noticed it. Hanging out with you guys, getting back to normal, like <laughs> recovering from the rush of setting this up and like all of the time pressure of everything. I don't want to think about everything that we need to do. I don't want to think about how late it is. I don't want to think about the time and everything like that. Nope. nope. Just hanging out with you guys and streaming. This is great. Um, yeah. But like the reality of like <coughs> what we got going on, I, I feel so lucky to be doing what we're doing, but also I'm like, <laughs> It's a lot, you know. It's a lot. <clears throat> I'm gonna see, I'm gonna hear Kaylin. Can I, can I, uh, I'm gonna switch it to this for a second. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna reposition this one to get me perusing the tool area. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be stretchy, girl. <laughs> You're real laughing now instead of stress laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the stress laugh is real. Firefly, cla Firefly Cross, thank you for the sub. Dear P. Drippy, thank you for the bits. What time is it in Texas? It is 7.17 p.m. It's all time for dinner. <clears throat> Probably something fast foody and quick. You dye your hair with resin? Mm, that sounds like a bad idea. I wanna do a bent resin project. I'm thinking drape it over a cup to make a vase. Any tips? Do practice with a smaller piece of resin to get a feel for how bendy it will be at different curing times. Cause when we did our bent resin lamps, <clears throat> um, one of them, like the different, how thick it will be will determine um, when it gets to the right bendy state. So just do some test pieces and make sure your test pieces are the same thickness as the one you're gonna do. These, these, these might be good too. You know, like the uh, little cutting thing right there for cutting uh, electrical cables. Oh yeah. But it's not too different from this. So maybe I'll just do this one. Yeah, yeah, we want variety. Yeah. I think you should get the like bush trimmer, the big shears. Oh yeah, no, but those, those aren't sharp. They cut branches. You could just rate them low. I'm curious. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a big boy. <laughs> no! <laughs> just one. Maybe just one. No! You have to save it for the video. But are these no. I think they're kind are of these, similar. Are these different enough, y'all, or, no. or are they the same? You gotta pick one. They're the same family. Laser cut the hair. Oh my gosh, that would smell so bad. We laser cut leather, making the um, ping pong table net. 
with Bob from Not I Like Makes Up. Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> Bigger is better. What project will most remind you of 2020 in the future? I don't know if projects will remind us of 2020 as the like hot mess of a year that it was, but I think like one of the most standout projects from 2020 would probably be our underwater stream, just cause it was like yeah. so different for us. <laughs> Let's see if we can cut this piece of paper. Oh, there's a pull. Oh, what tool should, what tool to use to cut Evan's hair? K Caitlin's hair. Oh, Caitlin's hair, sorry, <laughs> I read it wrong. Shears, big scissors, and ax, a resin knife. We'll see, we'll take it into account when planning for the video. <clears throat> The resin pumpkins equal 2020. That's actually a pretty good representation. <laughs> we were all Francis. <laughs> On this horrible day. On this horrible year, yeah. <laughs> Could Evan actually use a proper hair cutting tool? I think the plan for the video, now that we're adding in these variables, would be he tests the other tools along with a hair cutting tool, and then we vote on which is best for the actual haircut. Those, these will just be like test pieces. These are like heavy duty shop shears. The, these are the, the, this is the, um, this is the- uh, It's a potential. This is scissors. <laughs> so far, ax is the most popular. I am so excited to chop your hair with an ax. <laughs> you don't forget there's also like kitchen knife. Have, have, have you told your mom about this? No, oh. but we told your mom and she freaked oh, out. Oh yeah, look at look at look at how oh. Oh, that's good. Don't that. weaken it on paper. Oh oh. oh Reserve oh, oh. it for the hair. Okay okay. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out my instruments, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> I could just get a knife and kind of like. Have you seen Alec make bonsai shears, and getting a haircut? No, we haven't seen that. We should watch that. I think I saw the thumbnail where his hair was wetted. Yeah, and it was just going I saw straight the thumbnail. down like that. I saw the thumbnail. Scott of the Future, thank you for the 21 month sub. Old enough to drink now. Yes, 21 months old. <laughs> Hello, Justice. So thank you for the seven months. Congrats on the new place. To healing relief and lots of excitement. I know it's a lot of work. Thank you. We will do our best to take care of ourselves. We're not really feeling the relief yet. I think once we're there, we'll feel the relief. Llama, Llama Unicorn, thank you for the 13 months. Plus trim? Congrats on the house. I feel like all, all of these like- They're too similar. Too similar. The winner was Ax with 45, 46%. Next place, Resin Knife, 27%. Next is Big Scissors, 19%. And then the Shears, 8%. Just so you know. Right. <laughs> Should yeah. I screenshot the poll? Yeah. I'm gonna screenshot it. I think we might end up in, maybe we'll include a little bit of this. Um... Yeah. I think scissors, these are cooler scissors than just normal scissors. Haircut poll. poll results. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll include a little bit of this if we remember by the time we have time to do this. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna save it on the desktop. Ooh. You know what I could do? I could start doing random tool recommendations. Tool time with Evan? Sure. Okay, everyone knows about the standard tools. I'm gonna do some like unusual tools. <clears throat> okay, so first off guys, first off, um, you know, I, I agree with Jimmy Dresta that an ice pick is wonderful, but you know what I like more? <coughs> O-ring tool. O-ring tool. I'm not yeah, sure if get, you can see this. You can get more centered if you want. So this <laughs> O-ring tool right here, I'm like a beauty guru, an O-ring oh. tool, has a little um, curve to it right there. It's and so I was versatile. Find that like that little curve in the tip makes this such an invaluable tool for everything. I have multiple of these um, and I love the O-ring tool. <clears throat> I have some right here. <laughs> Celestia Mogul, he test, he hack, but mostly he make you need a hat. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Laughing matter, thank you for the 300 bits. Not sponsored obviously for any of this, but this thing right here is a knuckle bender. Uh, if your doors are sagging and you don't want to go through and like fix them a difficult way, you just take this and you bend the joints of the door. They fit right there in that hole, right there. And then you just bend the joint of the door and that 
That allows you to raise or lower the door and the angle it's hanging out. Make Caitlin a beard with her cut hair. Oh, oh that's so cursed. Oh, that's so cursed. I think I'll just stick with the little lady Jesus. I think having my own hair on my face would be really terrifying. Ryumi, thank you for the eight months sub. What else? What's the O-ring tool used for? Um, yeah, you didn't mention any of the many uses. Yeah. So it's often like, I'm trying to think of some specific things. For um, uh, pushing something in, for pulling something out, for opening something. Think of like how, you know, oh yeah, for opening stuff. Think of like ways you might use um, tweezers, like shop tweezers. It's often mm -hmm. used to like get something from a weird angle. Or like, the, like the other day, okay, this is the, the, the weirdest thing I've used it for recently. Um, <laughs> we like, you know, like, so we're, we're, we're moving, we're selling this house and guess what broke? The microwave door. The microwave, the microwave door, door broke. just broke. And we were um, eating and we just heard it go, kicking. King, you know, and then like, uh, oh wow, just another thing added to the list of things to do. Okay, so you can scoot more towards the we, center since the angle. <clears throat> so I started disassembling <laughs> the door and everything like that. I needed to remove this one little screw in there. Um, and I, I was able to get it out, but this one screw is like in this really weird place and I had to use lock jaw pliers and twist it and everything. Um, so removing it wasn't that bad, but I needed to apply upward pressure while locking and twisting it with lock pliers. And I kind of wedged that in there, pushed up with the O-ring tool and then twisted the the, the bolt. I don't know, that's like a weird random story, but like you just find yourself using it in all sorts of weird ways as soon as you have it and start using it. Um, yeah, so that's my story, that's, that's good. <clears throat> also, you can also use it to pull an O-ring out from where it's seated. <laughs> that's where I originally did it because, um, uh, you know, I, I used to do engineering work, do testing and R&D and development, like, motors and pumps and like fluid systems and all sorts of crazy stuff. So I did use O-rings a lot. Mm -hmm. And just because I love O-rings so much, I actually bought a variety set for us to have at home just in case we need it. And you know what? We, we did. It's come in handy multiple times. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Is the heart ruler gonna come? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think the only part of the garage we're leaving is the AC. Um, like a, a lot of the storage stuff we've built and put together, we're taking with us. People, people love the, the white cables. <laughs> <It's a special laughs> the cables guess. in the foreground, yeah. 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 If only we had really tiny googly eyes. To put on. We do have pretty tiny. No, no, no. Ones. It doesn't no, make no, sense because no, no. there's no like mouth. You know, yeah. you need like you need the, the out, like the beginnings of a face to <laughs> emphasize. You know what? That's crazy, Caitlin. We never really gave a conclusion to the mice. They just left. Yeah. They were here and they just left. Now we did install those whiny things all around the house. The Well, and I think some people scared things. them because we had people remove the bee. There was like some beehive. We'd had to have killer bees removed yeah. years ago. And I guess a bunch of beehive was left in this corner up here. And so we had like professional bee people come remove the rest of the hive that was in there and that had been their food source. Chaos, chaos, they were like chaos, eating chaos, chaos. hive and dead bees. And um, and there's a lot of like banging around. I think that's where they were nesting too. Um, so there's like a lot of banging around, like they got rid of all the hive. There was a bunch of like, cause they had to cut like a huge hole in the drywall and all this ruckus and they stopped coming after that. And then there was the freeze and like we, there have been no more. <clears throat> what are you messing with? I hear you rustling around. The kid or doodle, thank you for this. <laughs> bees, mice, and mystery alien goose. Does the new house ever be as interesting? Oh, I'm I'm sure it will find ways. <laughs> okay, there there's go, the chat. The chat Cheeto has arrived. I hope you guys are ready for a snack. Oh man, after. Okay, so in the most recent video, want in the one? ad, oh, you want another one? In the ad, I put a Cheeto in my ear as like an earbud. And for days, I was finding Cheeto dust in my ear. For days, I should have like 
My, my dad had the suggestion afterwards of like, oh, why didn't you like spray paint it? Or not spray paint, sorry, ha hairspray it. Like mm. hairspray the Cheeto to keep the dust down. But I didn't think about that. And so I just had hot Cheeto dust in my ear for days. ASMR is Cheeto, you know, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> You might not, yeah, you might not want to eat too much because these mics, you can't lean away oh, from the mic. Yeah. So people are going to hear all, all of the eating noises. Okay. ASMR Cheetos. Yeah, yeah. I muted it. Okay, Evan muted himself. But, you know, you guys, you don't need to mute yourselves. Enjoy these Cheetos, all two yeah. of them. Hope you don't mind sharing. Kate Soros, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you for the good luck wishes. And Yenny Desroches, thank you for the sub. Share it one and a half thousand ways. <laughs> yeah, does everyone take a small bite? I hope it didn't burn your ear. It didn't burn my ear. It just kind of felt like there was sand in there for a long time. And I'd be like, why is my ear itchy? And then there would be Cheeto dust on my hand. It was pretty gross. <laughs> the Cheeto dust made it burn. Yeah, no, it, it was good. Right, um, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're mic'd again. We should have resin that. We should have resin the Cheeto. Mm. We should resin a Cheeto. Why have we not done that yet? Is there a project we can do with resined Cheetos? Cause you know, like I, we have a theory that if you repeat any item enough visually, it becomes art. Ooh, Caitlin. So. Crown of Cheetos. <gasps> a Cheeto tiara. A Cheeto, a a Cheetara, a Cheetara. A Cheetara, a Cheeto tiara. Oh man. So what we do is we um, we uh, do resin infusion using the cactus juice. Yes. Um, on we a whole bunch of that. on a whole bunch of Cheetos. So we, what we do is we like we, Cheeto we, we, toilet we, ring. <laughs> we we, inf we 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 do resin infused Cheetos, then we bake them all, and then we have a whole bunch of individual Cheetos. Yes. Our and building blocks. Hot glue, glue them together. <laughs> no, no, no. Now what we'll do we is we'll do UV together. resin them together. It'll be classy. Mm-hmm. Cheetos for it. <laughs> what we should do is we should make a wire frame of your head of the right As dimension. A model. Yeah. And then we'll UV a glue them to the um, wire frame so that it sits perfectly. And then you have a resin crown. Yeah. That could be a fun live stream. It's not a bad idea. Not the bad idea. Not the bad idea, you know. Not the bad idea. <laughs> I don't want a Cheeto tiara. <laughs> Cheeto bowl, that would be classy. Classy. We could turn it on the lathe. Mm, we haven't talked about that. The lathe? We've, done, we've mentioned it. We have. I think in a stream before. We have a lathe. The giver of the lathe is in this stream. <laughs> Thank you, Libby. <laughs> we want we'll to have room for the lathe. We'll have room for the lathe. At the new garage, finally. Tube sculpture with Cheetos. <laughs> Add gold leaf to the Cheeto crown. Oh, to make it classy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Cheeto gingerbread house, also an option. The Cheeto queen roll her eyes. <laughs> Hail the queen of spice. So what we do is we, oh, we, 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 we crunch up Cheeto and we make a Cheeto keycap. Cheeto keycap! Like, I would like it, honestly. But like, I, I, we should kind of make a keycap that is a solid <laughs> resin and Cheeto So here's the issue. Creation. The outside of the Cheeto is the part with the color that you associate with the Cheeto. The inside is light. And if you crush it up, there's gonna be a lot more light take, overtaking the dark. Well, so, so we, like we just add a little bit more of the red. I think we have to shave off the Cheeto dust. Oh. Full dust. Extract it. Extract it, yeah, shave it off. Rosie is good. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> can you Cheeto buy Cheeto space bar? Can you buy Cheeto dust? Probably not. Like just with the dust. Yeah. What if? Okay, we have all those bags that Tig sent us. As we eat the bags, we keep the bags because there's always a little dust at the bottom, and we just collect enough until <laughs> we have a keycaps worth. Oh no. <clears throat> <clears throat> Never thought Cheetos would be so versatile. Kaylin, we have that packet of Cheeto, hot Cheeto flavoring. I wonder what color they are. We should look at that. Oh, oh. I know, I know. Oh. We might need to keep some of that for reasons. Oh, Cheeto puffs keep the red color? 
Oh, are there hot Cheeto puffs? Maybe. Because then, if they're if they have the, the right color all the way through. Mm. Shaving Cheeto sounds like an indie band name. <laughs> Tig, thank you for the gifted sub. Meg, thank you for the sub. And Uncube, thank you for the sub. Oh, Mythical Kitchen has a recipe for Cheeto dust. And maybe Claire. Oh. I wonder if Claire does too. Yeah. Because mm. Claire Collab made Claire something. She right? made Doritos. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, we don't need it to taste good. We just need it to look like a Cheeto. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, are we gonna have the outside be textured <laughs> like a Cheeto? Or would it be smooth? If it's an escape key, I'd be okay if it's, it's textured. I don't mind textured keys when they're not like ones you use all the time. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. <clears throat> Where's your new classy purse? It's inside. Should we get it? You can get it if you want. It's in um, the cabinets, you know, where I keep my, my boxes, my box oh, yeah. of boxes. It's yeah. next to that. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll bring it out. Um, yeah, the new classy purse. Um, when is the haircut happening? It'll be sometime soon. After the move. Um, we've had to really minimize the stuff that we're taking on work-wise this past week especially. But like really the past several months, because of house hunting and all the travel involved, it's been a lot of stuff. <clears throat> oh, Takis have a lot of dust. Here's the purse. Oh, look how fancy you are. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. I'm trying to show off that it's polished, because I spent so much long. I know, the polish on... looks nice. Look how heckin' shiny that is. Yeah, babe. Yeah. It's totally functional. Put my phone in there. That's all I got. Yeah. So glam. Yes. Use glitter or pearlex is, to make Cheeto dust. We is, could, but I feel like we This is how you wear need... a purse, right? Yeah, just around the neck. <sighs> this, like is my new, uh, this is my new drip. <laughs> it's your drip. Respect the drip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fried rice purse, yeah. It's just a uh, so you necklace. you keep your fried rice. It's yeah, a oh, big yeah. necklace. Yeah, it's a really big necklace. <laughs> Blinded by that shine. <laughs> yes. Now all we need to do is get invited to that YouTube award ceremony. <laughs> 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 you can make another a coin purse. Oh, yeah. A coin purse. Coin purse made out of coins. <clears throat> I was a little slow on was the Was the first the or last video at the house? Yeah, that's gonna mm -hmm. be, I mean, well, we are doing um, like moving vlogs. It's gonna be two parts, I believe. And so a lot of that will be at this house too, but. Love the Bobby Duke reference. That was so fun. I don't yeah, know, it just, so felt, just felt right. <clears throat> so many people were confused though. They're like, what was up with that weird? Really? I saw so many people recognize it. Well, I, th I think that like, you know, a lot of people recognize it and they'd the comment it, but like, you know, a lot of people are, are nice about things. Um, so they, they won't, you know, say anything negative, but I did see one comment saying like, what was up with that? That was weird. Cause they just didn't know. Oh yeah. That is, that is the risk of like referencing other channels in your own videos is like, you know, people won't always know what it is and then it's just confusing. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's Bobby Duke, see? Bobby Duke, um, I don't know if you're being sarcastic because I can't tell in the chat, but um, if you don't know, uh, you should check out Bobby Duke's channel. He's like an artist and maker. He does really cool stuff and he's very funny. Um, and he's a really cool person. Like we've gotten to hang out in person back when events were happening. Um, but definitely check out his channel. He's awesome. He's very funny. <clears throat> I see that there's a mod alert stream oh, issue yeah. going. So just let me uh, check just in case. Let me check just in case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, social. Have you thought about having googly eye merch? You know what's funny is one of the first merch designs I designed that never made it to the shop was our planer with googly eyes because that was one of the first tools. It's this tool right here that you guys can see at the bottom. That was one of the first tools in the shop that got googly eyes. And um, that design is on my computer. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe we should do something. What was the reference? Um, so uh, in Bobby Duke's videos, when he finishes before- Sometimes, yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time. When yeah. he like finishes 
the project, but before he reveals the final results, he does a, hey guys, it's finished. And then like lots of blinking. Um, and he'll like do variations on it and stuff and then it'll cut to the final thing. So that was, that was what we did. I don't know, we thought it'd be fun. <clears throat> I think that I look best on the orbital sand, orbital sander. Those, are, that's like one of Those my favorite googly yeah. eye placements because he has the perfect mouth, and then he has like it looks like a little like ninja turtle like eye thing. Steve the wood shaver, yeah, Steve would be a great name for the planner. Mofal, thank you for the eleven months up, and Amanda, and I'll thank you for the nine months. Thank you guys. And I miss the old workshop, but so happy for y'all. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, bittersweet. I think we're also kind of at a point where there's so much on our to-do list to get done that like the emotions haven't fully hit yet. I think once we, when we see everything like in boxes, it's going to be weird. <clears throat> and I, I hope that Juby handles things okay. We have like a plan for her to like keep her in a separate room that the movers won't be entering and she'll have all of her stuff and um, you know, but I do worry about her getting stressed, so. Yeah. But we're gonna do the best we can. Yeah, and I think that also in terms of like merch and everything, we want to kind of do a big refresh and kind of, you know, change change some things, have some new designs. Keep but the classics, but <laughs> add the some classics, new designs. Yeah. And retire do some, some, some more one-off things that, that'll, that'll be special, but, um, you know, just because, like, you know, there, there's some cool things that you can do with merch, mm -hmm. but, like, they can't be print-on-demand, so you have to do them in a batch, kind of like the plushies. Mm -hmm. Like, I really want to do enamel pins, guys. I so enamel want to do enamel pins. That'd be so much fun. That'd be so cool. You're leaving <clears throat> the AC, but are you taking the eyes? We should maybe take the eyes. We should I, probably take the eyes. We should take the eyes. I feel like people would be weirded out. You want to pop them off? Let's do it right now. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. I need to film it, because we want to put that in the... Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, good idea. Don't do anything yet. I'm just gonna record on here, but I'll leave it wide. Yeah, yeah. Um, is this gonna pick up audio? Um, Should I get the M50 with the other mics? Cause this is like a moment. It won't get the audio. <clears throat> Will we pull but, the audio from this at the one hour and 40 minute mark? We can, yeah, we can pull the audio from this. If you want to, or we can get the M50 and uh, put on the other just, mics. Let's, here, watch this. I don't think that we ever use this, so what I'll do is I'll stop this, I'll record here, and then we can pull it just from that little bit. Okay. Yeah, all right, so as I'm recording here. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I didn't say I was ready. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, God. Why, oh, uh-oh, is that? Oh, that's the back of the eyeball, not we didn't peel something off we of that. We hot glued them on. <gasps> oh. We hot, that's, that's hot glue. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. I apologize to the future owners of this house. <laughs> Your AC unit might have some residue on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that weirder or less weird than the googly eyes, though? Ah. Now, we got to take these with us to the new place. Yeah, they're part of our brand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you just moved your mouth, I can make you say anything there. You didn't actually say any words. I agree. <laughs> wow, so talkative. <laughs> just giving you a few different like <gasps> options. It didn't record. Oh, good thing, good thing. It was recording here. Cause <gasps> that's part of it, it got it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, this thing saved us because it was recording the stream. It's at 1080. That's fine. This is always at 1080. There you go. That saved. Wait, so did it save this view or my it view? Save all four. <gasps> oh and my gosh. And the audio mix. Oh my gosh. Wow, we're gonna have to pull that that moment. Yeah, this is and, why we have so many backups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause because it, it, it records. It's at the hour 40 mark. No, no, but uh, when I press record and stop, it's oh, its it'll own Oh, this will record thing. everything? This records everything. Even though I didn't push record on this. Yes, yes. <gasps> it records, it has a video file for this, 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 and audio files, d separate tracks for all of them. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah. Also, like, look at it. Look at it in this view. 
It just looks like he's like a corpse of his former self. You didn't see where the eyes were. Kill me. <laughs> Yeah, we can use a razor. Oh, I'll try to, I'll try to like. Yeah. Should we stop the recording now? I already did. Cool. I'll start it again, just in case we miss something. Oh, I wanted something. to get, I was hoping it was still going to get the, the kill me moment. Should I say it again? Kill me? Yeah, right. okay, I was right. making a joke. I wanted it to be for the video. All right, go for it. It's not going to be funny this time. I'll just pull it from the full <laughs> recording. It was but, but at 1.55. It has audio playing. Huh? It has the, well, it has chill beats, but chill beats oh. are copyright free. Should I do the joke again? Yeah, go for it. Everyone here will know it's a fraud. <laughs> Everyone here will know that it's a fake. Wait, wait, Evan, come over here, come over here. Look at it in this view. You yeah. can still see the shadow of his eyes. It like looks a like corpse. a zombie. It's a corpse, AC. <laughs> Was that as good, guys? Was that natural? Kill me. Kill me. I think, okay. you know, stitched together. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. Just don't tell anyone we had to do it again. It's, it's in the same vein of the first Stage! Time. Stage! No, 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 no! Okay, so, so no, guys, no, no. guys, y'all who watched this live, and I guess in the recording, how good was the recreation? Well, how, how, how do you rank our acting skills? <laughs> Is it it's acting out of acting? <laughs> Fake news. Hmm. Who use a hair dryer or a heat gun on the hot glue? Oh, baby, yeah, because we don't want to scratch the paint. Well, but like it, it, it actually like one, once you Is get it, it once you get it off, I peeled one off totally. And it was it was fine. Eight and a half out of ten. Nine out of ten. Exaggerated. So so. Four out of ten. Oof. Ooh. Six out of ten. Oof. Oof. You know, <clears throat> if it's too bad, I'll just cut it. <laughs> you know what, guys? A thousand out of and one out of ten. Ten thousand one out of ten. Thank you. Thank you. You know what would be a good tool to use for this? Oh, tool. Let's see if, if this lives up to the hype. Yes. Abby B Gamer, thank you for the 10 months sub. Thank you for the congrats on the new house. Oop! Is that, um. <laughs> <sighs> People are having lots of suggestions. Alcohol, Ugh. water on a sponge. Alcohol. Yeah, let's not ruin it. I have an alcohol spray bottle. Or, you know, we can also just hang out and do it later. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Close up. Yeah. I'll, okay, I'll do a close up if he does at the end. You know, the, uh, the, uh. Alcohol, a lot of people are saying alcohol. It's in the cra crafting closet. Right. I'll be back. You know, the, um, Ooh. it's in the corner in those pink bottles. We're testing life hacks here, guys. This testing is now a life hack video. My internet stopped for just the length of time you needed for the second take. <laughs> Run some noise over the OG footage. Oh, but then, but then you won't hear my wonderful joke. <laughs> He's alcohol after a few drinks, you won't notice it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it probably is less weird than having the googly eyes up here. See, that's another thing we didn't even think about because we have done weird stuff to the house. There's gonna be some strange choices. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm trying, that does make me second guess because I hadn't even considered the, al the, the, the alcohol, the googly eyes. And now I am wondering like, what else is there in this house that we're not even considering? I don't know. <clears throat> I'd be surprised if alcohol, alcohol affected hot glue. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. Did you fix the kitchen light? Yes, we did. Um. In the new garage, there should be an honor spot for the mold release. Yeah, we, we should keep it like right here, like underneath the workbench, under uh, where we have our gloves. Are the new owners gonna have a hole in the screen where the catio was? No, we're replacing it. We actually have, um, <clears throat> uh, let me see. There's one of the screens right there um, that is adjacent to the catio. Um, Evan took it off to get measurements, but we're waiting till the very last minute. All right, let's let's do life hack live. Okay, one second. Life hacks live. All right, this is a alcohol test. I'm applying alcohol to the uh, hot glue right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Precise little dropper bottle. Oh, 
You spilled a little bit there, my friend. You spilled. Let me, let me get you all clean. Yeah. Yes. Kill oh. me! <laughs> okay. Ready? Whoa! 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 Guys, alcohol! That life hack actually works! Whoa! That's great! Kick it again! <laughs> okay, like, so, so watch, this is how difficult it is to remove without alcohol. Like, I'm really digging in there and it's splitting apart. I'm pulling so hard. Yeah. With a simple application of alcohol. All around. I see it kind of like soaking behind it. Well, I think that's that's the the, the um uh, paper that was in front. Mm, oh yeah. You know. So let me just apply that little bit of alcohol. Let's wait a little bit. My arms are getting tired. I'm going to lower them so I can rest them, you guys. Okay. Heavy camera. Okay. Let's see okay. if that's long enough. Ready? Yeah. Whoop, yep. <gasps> wow. Wow. I am impressed. Dang. Wow. Good job, guys. I'm just gonna, we'll do the rest of these guys yeah. real quick. I'm glad we kept recording. We'll include that in the video. Yeah. Impromptu life hack from Chad. They forget they used the alcohol trick in a video before. Did we do that? <laughs> oh, we did do that for the corners of something. Oops. Well, we, we did do that for something. For like a resin mold. Forget for Evan and Caitlin. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm still impressed. That is great. Yeah. He'll no longer be a zombie. He'll be a real boy. <laughs> I can smell the alcohol now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Release for the Opal desktop. I was thinking it was um, for the treadmill desk. Yeah, the Opal desktop for the treadmill desk. Wow, mm. wow. You know, one thing we, we have come to realize as we've made more and more videos is like sometimes we forget specifics of what we've done, just like that. You know, I'm like, I remember it now, but I didn't until you guys reminded <laughs> me. Or, or we often forget like what stories we've told, like, have we told yeah. the story in a video, in a live stream, in a podcast, so. Yeah, but also, I mean, it's tough because like not everyone watches everything. So like, you yeah. know, how often do we retell things before they get repetitive or yeah. lame or whatever, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, and for the fake stained glass, we did it then too. We've done this twice. Oh, <laughs> well, we have no excuses then. <laughs> Third time's the charm, because now we're being shamed with the knowledge that we've forgotten. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so much better. It, like, it comes off so easy, you don't even need the- um, The O-ring tool? O-ring tool. That was great, baby. New catio definitely needs two floors. You know, it'll depend on where we put it. We have a couple places in mind. Some might work with that, some might not. Because like, I think I might prioritize <laughs> location for her over like how big and grand it is. Yeah, because you know, we want her to be in a good spot where she can also be pretty close to us. Partially for her, because she likes, like her favorite thing is, her favorite things are the catio and being in the same room as us. So if yeah. we can combine those, we think she'll be really happy. But also we want to do more jube catio streams and it would be great if they were closer to us. And you know, we can always do multiple catios, honestly. I mean. In multiple locations. That's not a bad idea. You know, cause she sometimes likes variety. If, you know, yep. for some reason she's upset by one thing, she can move to the other. Exactly. You know? <laughs> but like, I, I at least want one that's not too much bigger. Cause what I worry about, let's say we build like this big, huge, elaborate one, thinking that she's gonna love it. And then like, she doesn't like it at all. And she doesn't yeah. use it, you know? Yeah, you never know. Yeah, she can follow the sun. <laughs> she can go on adventures. <clears throat> Yeah. One thing that I, I'm looking into, and this is like, you know, going into to nerdy Evan zone again. Should we stop recording here, by the way? I think we're done with the AC. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then we'll start it again, just in case if something else to. happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make it easier to yeah, stop recording. pull that footage. Now we're recording again. Okay, cool, cool. 
Yeah, so um, nerdy, nerdy Evan time. I'm looking at getting um, network enabled cameras <laughs> that are that have an IP address so that we can pull up that camera from any stream computer. And they For have- For Jube's Catio camera specifically is what we're talking And their about. network controlled pan tilt zoom ones also. So we can follow her remotely. Yeah, it's not creepy. <laughs> I wonder if Jube thinks we're creepy. She's like, so why are they following me with the camera? Me while I'm relaxing in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, but we can have like network enabled pan tilt zoom cameras so that from any streaming location, our garage, the craft streaming room, or the um, uh, game streaming room, if she's on the catio, we can remotely pull it up. Yeah. Be cool. You and know? DI cameras, that's what it is, right? <laughs> and DI, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah and DI cameras. <clears throat> Always watching, yes. You know. Yeah, so we're looking at NDI PTZ, and and there's some really cool new ones coming out soon. They're so expensive, so I'm actually gonna get a cheaper one, see how I like the technology and, and if we maybe use it, and then if it's really cool, then maybe I'll save for the big one. Why did they make a pants bed for me? It's because we're obsessed with you. We just want to make you happy. Sorry, Jew, but that's weird. Are we, are we weird? Are, are we creepy? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else can I do? Jube hamster tubes from window to window. Good. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, I thought those were Jube streams. Are those actual E and K streams? They're uh, they're Jube streams. They're on Jube's channel. Yep. Although usually Evan is nearby, or, or sometimes we'll switch off. Mm -hmm. But then like what we can do is like, if, if we were streaming out here and we had that camera and she was on the thing, we could pull up an inset of it. Yeah. Like over here. Yeah. We can have it all. Yes. Funky chicken lol, thank you for the sub. <laughs> all right. How, how much longer do you want to go? Because I, I think that- the, I, think it, I think it might be time to wrap it up I think soon. that I was thinking it might be time to wrap it up soon because because it's 8 p.m. and uh, we gotta eat dinner and then we gotta pack and it. move. <laughs> <laughs> to move. <laughs> well, um, thank you to everyone who joined today's stream. Thank you guys. If, if you were part of the live viewing experience, thank you for your patience while we troubleshoot shot the new technology. I set it up for this one thing and then it's gonna go away. It's gonna be disassembled. Breaking it down. Reassembled at the new place. Um, if y'all are watching on YouTube, thank you for tuning in and watching all the way to the end. You get five free moving boxes. There you go. <clears throat> they should show up in the mail. Oh, you're not moving? Well, just keep them, just in case. You never know. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and are we stopping the recording? Oh, actually, no. We haven't done the. We haven't done the credits. Yeah, I was gonna say, are we, yeah. gonna, are we saying bye before the credits? I don't know. It's yeah. been a long day. It's been a long time since we did a crafting stream. Anyways, we're not leaving. We say, well, we usually say goodbye for the edit and stop <laughs> recording. And then we keep hanging out during the yeah. after stream, but there's no edit of this. Yeah. <laughs> so we said goodbye anyway, even though there's no edit. We're still hanging out. But it's time to roll the credits it. because we wanted to thank all of you guys. Do we have a credit read? Oh. Oh, it's going fast. Oh, oh it's going fast. Thank you okay. to Derpy Derpy for the donation. And I, there were even more donations earlier and I think it's not counting them because it was an earlier stream. Oh yeah. Thank you to everybody who, who donated. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to everyone who gifted subs because it's your fault these credits are moving so fast. <laughs> Thank you, so, everybody. No special credit treat. I'll think of something while you go. Thank you to our awesome mods, Grandpa Moss, Miranda, not Miranda, Pemily, Stalwart, Sister Guy, Game, and TLC Blondie. Thank you for, for being here with us on our very last stream Wanna get in these this two workshop. Um, also, thank you to our top sub gifter or top bidders. We got Tig, um, Ev Shane Maxwell, and Naptime Gamers. Thank you to our top bidders of the week. And also, thank you to our top gifters of the week, Tig, Smexy, and Darth Kyra. Thank you so much, you guys. All right, so I have a competition. Okay. 
It's a workshop building competition, a themed workshop building competition that we're the judges of. So the theme is based on their username? Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, whatever you are inspired by. <laughs> One person could be inspired by another person's username, you know? Okay, yeah. So, so however you want to play it. <clears throat> a themed workshop. Build building off. Uh -huh. competition, you know, yeah. that's a, that's and a big deal. And in the meantime, uh, Lily oh, makes him. Oh, oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. So uh. Kitty Cosplay decided to make a kitty themed workshop for their cosplay workshop. Yeah. Um, cinnamon bun dipped in poison, um, poisoned everything in the workshop, which is a weird choice for your own workshop. Metal Bad Girl made a bat cave where she does metal working. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And um, the Nyan Bacon made a bacon resin workbench, Ooh. which I want. Oh, I want that now. Bacon, like a bacon weave resin workbench. Now, is it is it peppered or is it like, you know, It's sugary? a brown sugar and pepper. Brown sugar bacon. and pepper? Ooh, yes. Yeah. That's what I love. Um, a pretzel key was like, you know what's the key to a good workshop? Pretzels. How big? And Giant pretzels? Like the ones that are this big or the little ones? Big ones. All sizes? You need big pretzels for your workshop. All right. Hot Pocket Gamer made a gaming room where they mm. stream and they have a specialized Hot Pocket oven. Dispenser? That actually cooks Hot Pockets wow. all the way through without getting too hot and they're so crispy. They need to patent he has that. Figured out the technology. He they has really a, need to patent technology. that. <laughs> um, llama Llama and a Unicorn was like, you know, I got one llama, I got a second llama, I got a unicorn. Who needs a workshop? They just have a barn. I need a barn. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, and I, I think Great I have to give it to uh, Hot Pocket for figuring out how to actually cook I Hot mean, Pockets. I mean, that's that's quite the uh, I mean, that's a technical uh, technical accomplishment. Yeah. Oh, should we do a real goodbye now? <laughs> uh, I also want to do the big flexes. Mm. Um, I don't know if they're still if, uh, here, though. Let me see if they're still here. Yeah, we don't have as many monitors, so we miss. We always miss big flexes out here. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> no, um, we nope. lost one. We'll reject it so they get their points back. Mm. And kitties. Yeah, we'll see if kitties is still in here. Nope. nope. Oh, okay. man. Oh, we missed two. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll give them, we'll their, give points them their points back so then they didn't <laughs> use up the big flex in vain. But, you know, I think it's time to say goodbye for real because we did our credits. Yeah. It's late. We love you guys. We're Thanks gonna, for hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, we're gonna miss this garage. It's, it's it's a sentimental thing for us. We kind of had a moment while while we were doing the filming the vlog on it, but um, we just wanted to share this space with you guys one last time um, live. We're gonna be packing this all up pretty soon. It's, it's gonna all get gonna weird. be gone. It's gonna get weird, y'all. Some exciting things are coming soon. More space, more tools, more projects. Like, you know, we'll be able to make things faster and, and everything. So it's pretty awesome. Um, hope you guys are having a great day and look forward to seeing you in the next thing. Bye. Bye.